I'm Joshua. And hi, I'm Chloe. Welcome to the Musical Chairs podcast. And this is where we listen to and review a musical every week and discuss about it. Yeah, so, yeah. so how are you? <laughs> um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm really glad it's Thanksgiving break because yes. I hate homework and I don't want to Yeah, to anyone anymore. who celebrates Thanksgiving, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. And if you don't, I hope you had a good day. Yes. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Happy day if you don't. <laughs> happy day if you don't celebrate happy day. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Um, oh, on that topic, I just wanted to bring up, like, what are you thankful for? Just, like... I... Oh, God. Okay. Uh, what am <laughs> I thankful for? I'm thankful for... We're going to get real corny here. For my <laughs> friends and my family. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, actually, like, actually, like, very much. Like, today, I was, like, I bought, like, Christmas presents, and my mom literally bought all of them for me. And I was, like, I don't have any oh. money. So... <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> That's a mood. I agree. Like, I'm really thankful for my friends. Um, I'm thankful for musical theater and yes, music. Yes, I was about to say that, like musicals. Because I am a big music person. If you don't yes, know me, me well. that's something about me. I mean, we um, made a podcast about musicals. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I like, I love the piano. I love singing. It's just fantastic. Yes. And then I love my family and my dog, who's not here. But... I love my dog. He's also not here. He's upstairs. <laughs> My dog's downstairs, actually. Whoa. Two different places. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, yeah. going away from what we're thankful for, the musical this week is Matilda. Yeah. Um, Matilda was originally based off the book by Roald Dahl and was turned to a musical by Dennis Kelly. The music and lyrics were by Tim Minchin, and it was directed by Matthew Warchus. It premiered <laughs> for the first time on Broadway April 11th, 2013. However, it originally premiered in the Courtyard Theater. Um, on November 9th, 2010. Uh, the show closed on January 1st, 2017. However, there are many productions that are still happening. Uh, it has won many awards, including seven... Al- Al- what was it? Olive- Olive- <laughs> Olivier. Olive- Olivier? Olivier yeah. Awards. That's what it was. <laughs> including seven Olivier Rewards and five Tony Awards in 2013, <laughs> along with a lot more. And the original movie of Matilda came out in 1996, starring Mara Wilson. That's a lot of, it won a lot of awards. It did. I am, I am very <laughs> proud. I am very proud of it. Proud I mean, it deserves that. every bit of it. And yes, it's, it's interesting how it started too, like in the Courtyard Theater. Like, it's very interesting. Like, I'm interested in how musicals start and how they get to Broadway yeah. too. Because like, mm-hmm. if I ever wrote a musical, probably never would. I don't have that <laughs> talent. But if I did, like, it would be interesting, like, the process of how it got to Broadway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then um, for all of you who are wondering what it's about, it's basically about, like, Matilda and her story. So Matilda is an extraordinary girl who is extremely intelligent, and she's armed with a sharp mind and vivid imagination. She is a genius who was born to a less brilliant family, and her dad, Mr. Wormwood, is a car sales- salesman. And her mom, Miss- Mrs. Wormwood, is an amateur ballroom dancer who values looks over books. Not a great match for a girl who reads. Um, things only get worse when Matilda's parents send her to the ghastly Prunshim Hall. There she meets the tyrannical headmistress, Miss Trunchbull. Forced with these ridiculous circumstances... Matilda bravely decides to take action with her friends and very kind, car- kind-hearted teacher, Mrs. Honey. She inspires a revolution, pr- proving that everyone has the power to change their story. Yes, it's a very good story. Uh, yes, it is. The cast, the original Broadway cast, uh, the four Matildas, because they would switch them out throughout the week because mm-hmm. uh, they were children, was Sophia yeah. <laughs> Denuso, Una, Una Lawrence, Bailey Ryan, and Millie Shapiro. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Warren would play like Gabriel Ebert and Leslie Margarita, and Miss Honey was played by Lauren Ward. So on that topic, um, while we're talking about actors, like, did you have like a favorite one or like one that you like admire because of their talent and stuff like that? Leslie Margarita, because she was, she's so incredible. Like she was like belting and stuff. And I've seen like other like performances, like videos that she's done of her singing and she can like belt and like, really like hit a bunch of different notes and really like put a lot of emotion into it and it's very Mm -hmm. i love her 
she's so good she is she's also very comical which is very mm-hmm. talented like i can like yes very know. very comical yes she's she's very good like i like her voice use of her voice mm-hmm. like acting voice not like singing yeah. voice and she's just like she's really good at her character she's really good at that yes, definitely. um for me other than her i really i didn't um i like the matilda the original matildas but one of my favorites is ripley sobo she was really good like she was really talented at um belting like uh-huh. it sounded very strong oh, and she wow. was she was especially for a child like she was uh-huh. so good at her little character and her little British <laughs> accent. It was so cute. And I also liked um, Alex Brightman as, what's his name? Mr. Wormwood. I didn't I liked him as Mr. He was very, one. like, he was very theatrical. Like, he was very, like, Yeah, bright. I can imagine like, him in the role, though. Yeah, he was he was pretty good at it. And I liked watching him, too, because I know him from Beetlejuice. So yeah. <laughs> that was kind of cool to see. So, yeah. So some of the themes in the musical or, like, the symbolism was, um, if you don't, well, you're probably not going to know what we're talking about, but <laughs> the the new was a very big part of the musical because it was, like, it symbolized ignorance and how, like, it eventually got to Mrs. Trunchbull and how she, how her ignorance w- eventually got back at her because she tormented all those children and then it ended mm-hmm. up coming back at her in the end. Um and then the story that Matilda was telling to um, Mrs. Phelps, she... The librarian. Yeah, that was, like, a reflection of Miss Honey's life and how it started to, like, slowly come true. It was like a like a mirror of characters in the story. And you'll get to know what we're talking about if you continue to listen. Yeah. Um, and then some of the themes that were in the musical overall was family can go beyond blood relation children must advocate for themselves and literature is the true source of knowledge. So those were some, there's more, but (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So that's generally Matilda. Um, uh, I would rate this musical. Well, I would recommend this musical to, um, I would especially recommend it to younger children. Like I would recommend it to a little bit younger children, like children who are. It's a very good one to get into. I yeah, like. get into musical theater. Like, if yes. you're just starting to get into this, um, I would definitely take a look at this one because it has a yes. lot of um, talented and actors. If you just like a more lighthearted musical, because like, yeah. like Sweeney Todd last week was a very dark and like, yeah. <laughs> like a lot, mm-hmm. like a lot of death. But this one's a lot more lighthearted. Lighthearted. And lot, yeah, and I'll, there's and still definitely yeah. like emotional parts in it. But it's like mm-hmm. it's still a light, a lot more lighthearted musical. Yeah, it's also very like theatrical. It's mm-hmm. not like as serious. Like it's very like yes. bright and theatrical. Like yeah. all the characters are very um, charactery, like in a storybook. Character, like they did a yeah. really good. They really did a good job, like comparing to the book and the uh-huh. s- musical. Like it's almost like they were characters in a children's book. So. Yeah. It's a good one for younger children, like younger people, and then, of course, for people of all ages because it's yeah really good lesson, really good themes, really good actors. So, yeah. Yes. Good plot. Um, I would rate this musical probably like a nine out of ten, if not ten, because yeah. like the actors Me were too. very talented, the story yes. was very I was good. Entertained. Yes, it's a very entertaining musical. <laughs> So we do recommend that you go watch it or mm-hmm. you go um, listen, listen to, to it. it because it's really good. So yeah, hopefully good. we talked about it enough to um, kind of get you a, a base of what you're looking at. And yeah. yeah, so we do recommend that. So just by the way, we're getting to like deeper discussion, like our yes. personal opinions on the <laughs> musical and we might spoil some things. So if you haven't watched it or if you're willing to uh, watch it or listen to it, then yeah. I wouldn't recommend going past this point, but uh, you can if you want to. So yeah. <laughs> just a spoiler warning. Um, so. It's also a lot similar to, I feel like a lot of people have seen the movie. It's very, I mean, that's, there's some parts that are different from the movie, uh, but it's similar. Definitely. Mm-hmm. There's like the main plot of it. Is, so if you've seen the movie, it, you'll probably understand a lot of the things we we're talking about too. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's get started. What do you want to talk about? Oh, I I mean, I guess I'll just, since I was talking about the movie, like a lot of the differences with the movie that you haven't seen the movie, but I have. Yeah, I have not. Um, so a lot of differences, like Matilda in the musical, she like, in the movie, she has like, pa- like magical powers. She can like levitate and move stuff, which she uses in the musical, but only in like one scene. And she doesn't really mm-hmm. use it that much, like at all yeah. in the movie. It's like, like she's constantly using it. Like one of the first scenes is like literally her like making breakfast by herself using her powers. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's there wasn't much of it. It was only yeah. during like one scene. Which song was it? It was the um. It was. I don't. It was the song. song. It was like um, the one where she like knocks over the water bottle with the new in it or something like that, or something like that. Talk writing, that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, the, it, it appears there, too. But mm-hmm. there's there's another place where she... It says, quiet, and Matilda speaks to herself. She discovers she has powers. Okay, yeah, there's that one. There's that one, too. So, yeah, that's... there. It's very not... It's very, like, in the movie, she's, <laughs> like, she knows she has powers, like, pretty much since she's, like, born. In the musical, it's a lot different, where she figures out she, has, she like, learns that she has powers. She's like, oh, whoa, I have powers. And she uses it mm-hmm. once... And never again. Because there's at the song at the end, the last song, she's like, um, she never used her powers again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, said, because she was like, I'm calm now. And like, she's I, like, I fulfilled them. my need to use them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, they weren't very apparent. She had it was kind of disappointing. Like, I was going into this expecting, like, it to be, like, so magical. Like, yeah. <laughs> powers all the time. Kind of like Frozen, where it's just, like, yes. all about the powers. But, yeah, like, all about the powers. But, like, this was not very, yeah, not very apparent. But it was still there, so. It was still there. And that. the, I wonder how they did the chalk thing. I, I think maybe a projection, but, like, it was a very mm-hmm. good projection if it was a projection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, like, this, the whole set. The chalk set, floats. The set is so cool. It's, it is like, so based good. off of, like, building blocks or, like. Yeah, like, like the letter letters. Blocks. Yes. Yeah. And I like on the and I real and on the and I realized like in certain sets like the fireplace in Matilda's house there are words like inside the fireplace and they spell out soot inside the fireplace yeah wow and then in the library inside one of the things it's like it spells out shush <laughs> inside oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I remember seeing like I was I was reading it all backwards so I was like what does this mean but that makes but yeah, more sense now it was very I absolutely adore the set it was like everything like almost like everything was like based off of, like the blocks and it looked very cool like the gates were based off like each one had a block and then that's when they placed like the alphabet oh whoa. that's when they placed like the alphabet like inside of the gate to the to the school and like, and uh, the choreography was that was amazing because like the people, they were like there were people like climbing on the fence. I know, and, and then they then, would and like put the blocks. They in. would put the blocks like inside the square holes. And this and was people would literally song. like yeah, and then people would just like walk on them like as they're being like they'd be like getting ready to step before like the block is fully through, and like by the time they step down the block, like just finished going through, and they'd be like sitting down and then standing up and like turning around and like jumping to a different block, and I'm like, whoa. Like, yeah, that had to take so much time to rehearse and stuff like that. And like with the choreography, it was very good, especially with children, because these are like kids, like probably like younger than like 12, like 12 or younger. Like, and they, the choreography was incredible mm-hmm. for for that and like they were there was very like synchronized and like very very specific and like there are some things where like there are these like mats that the kids had and like where like um miss trunchbull when she took over like of the completely the school and she was like pretty much like making them do like pe things I know. and they were like doing that and like they were they were literally like rolling onto other mats and then had to get up and like pick up a mat and like bring it somewhere else and like lay down on it and like stand up and like and like so many things and like make sure everything was still in the same spot and it was absolutely yeah, amazing especially for it children. was so cool yeah and, so like it going like with that topic and kind of like in order with the songs um in miracle like the first miracle 
where it's so like in sync where they're like popping yes. the balloons and yeah. like doing all that like and the children going back to the children thing too like they were all like so talented yes. for their age like yeah. i i love watching children do musical theater cuz they are so yeah. talented yeah. so talented they were very incredible i was watching I was like these are kids i know like it's kids <laughs> Like, it's so good. Like, I love that. (laughs) I was like, how long did they have to do this? But yeah, it's like very good. And like at the end on their bows, uh, they they ride around on scooters. And but like every single person in the cast is scooter. And it's so like specific. Like there's some they're like going like past each other and like turning around and like doing specific things. And like that, like also it's scooters. Like (laughs) that was was, like I was thinking about that because they had to like... (laughs) Me, like, I cannot ride a scooter. Like, I would fall. I would not be able to do I that. I can, but I'd be so stressed if, like, there was a person, like, a foot away from me. Like, there's a foot on the foot away from me on this side and this side and in front of me and, like, the, <laughs> and, like diagonal from me. And, like, from every direction, there's another person on a scooter. Yeah, and the amount of scooters on the skate stage, yes. too. <laughs> there were so many. And I love um, how Matilda, she, like, like, she didn't have a scooter, but she, like, stood in between all of them. All the scooters. Like, and she, like, did her bow. Yeah, that was so cool. And, um, like, that was, I loved the bows. Because I loved the whole, like, theme between the, like, of the musical where it was, like, that's not right. Like, uh-huh. I liked, I liked that whole theme. And with the, when I grow up, too, that was, like, I love, like, it was so cute. Mm-hmm. Like, it was such a cute little musical. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just, like, I, it's also, okay, we're getting into, like, Matilda's, like, how her parents kind of (laughs) suck. Like, she has, her parents are, like, a great comedic relief. Like, I know. (laughs) Every, every scene with them is, like, hilarious. Mm -hmm. And they're very funny. And they're, and, like, her, and, like, her parents, like, absolutely horrible. And I love, I think it was Miracle, how many Miracles are there? Is there's three. three or four so i think in miracle two is when um which is like the first songs is when um what's 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 her mom's name miss miss wormwood miss, Mrs. Wormwood. yeah mm-hmm. she had like she was pregnant and she was the doctor and she's like so do you know what's wrong with me and she's like you're pregnant and she's like what i already have a child she's like, okay, i know well, this is another <laughs> child it's like it's like well can i take antibiotics like, like <laughs> that was so funny that was and she was so like so funny like the doctor was like how didn't you any clue and she was like doctor am i fat <laughs> <laughs> and it was like and he was like no like she, they're so incredible you're, pre- you're nine stupid. months pregnant yeah i know she's like is there anything you can do <laughs> she's like antibiotics <laughs> like, that was so funny and then like after she was born they're like he was holding the she's like Where's the thingy? I know. <laughs> it's like, where's the thingy? It doesn't have a thingy. It's like, well, your child doesn't have a thingy. It's like, why? Because it's a, a girl. Girl, <laughs> yeah. And he call- continued to call her a boy Throughout for the, the whole rest musical. for the whole musical. Like, I'm a girl. You except for at the end. Except once. for at the end. Yes, one yeah. time. And she was like, you just. She was like, what? Did you just <laughs> yeah. call me your daughter? You've never done that in like in. At- Ever. The whole life, the whole time yeah, I've been alive. My whole life, you've never done that. <laughs> I love yeah, no, her, her like, parents are like horrible. Like they like bring her down any chance that they can. Like mm-hmm. she like he, I think there's one time they're having a family meeting, so she walks into the room and is like, "Not you." <laughs> I know, and she has to sit like all the like. One thing I noticed is all the family gets to sit sit in like chairs and mm-hmm. like sit on the couches, but she's sitting on this like little block like yeah. away from them across the yeah. room like mm-hmm. she was never really a part of the family which yeah. was kind of sad it was like very poor sad. Matilda. And, like anytime she was like she was like mother can i tell you a story she's like enough with your stories and she was like she didn't want to hear them at all i know and every time she was at the librarian or the at the library <laughs> not at oh. the librarian <laughs> yeah i know what you're gonna say she was but, like, like She's like, oh, your parents must be so proud of you. Yeah, like, they must love you. Yeah, you're such a smart girl. And yeah, like, and she's like, that's exactly what they say. That's exactly what they say. <laughs> exactly. Yes, they talk about how they're so proud of me and <laughs> stuff like that. And then at the end with Miss Honey, she's like, that's not true. 
and then she admits <laughs> it. But yeah, no, yeah. and her they and like they like just suck. I like absolutely horrible, disgusting mm-hmm. people. I love how yeah. like this was in the movie too, where she was where she like dyed her dad's hair and had yeah, his speaking of that like he she he, she like super glued his hat to it mm-hmm. oh that reminds me of the thing he did before the sh- why, why she did that where he she had library books and so she was like look i have a book she's like enough with your books and he starts like ripping her pages out. i know and she's like yeah just standing there like because she knows she can't do anything like he'll just get mad mm-hmm. like probably like push her or something and she'll she's just stand there and watch him rip apart these books that like she loves I know. to read and that leads him, that leads to the songs like Naughty and Naughty Reprise, yes. where she's like a little doing bit naughty. naughty. <laughs> and then she like does like the hair dye thing and then the yeah. hat thing. And then like, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Like, and the, um, the father kind of just like played it off. <laughs> like, yeah. He kind of just didn't really do anything with it. Yeah. So, and then like kind of going in order of the songs. Um, the next one after the li- library scene and the school song, uh, which we both already talked about, is pathetic. So getting into, like, Miss Honey being, like, racking up the courage to knock yes. at the door and, like, calling yeah. herself pathetic. Just, just to la- knock the door to talk to the headmistress, which, no. with that, uh, we find out later in the musical that she, which is a part of Matilda's stories, that she tells the librarian that Miss Trunchbull, the the headmistress, she is actually Miss Honey's like aunt, that like her like really evil aunt. Um, mm-hmm. It was cool how they did that with the stories. Yeah, like it kind of like it was like foreshadowing. Yeah, right? in the movie, it was just like a thing that Miss Honey, I think, just said at some point, where she like oh. kind of like mentioned it, and like she was just, like, "Yeah, she's my aunt," like at some point, but like I. My dad's home. Uh, but this is like, what, like, like I like how like they foreshadowed it, like her story and like what happens to her. But yeah, she was like building up the courage to like just go in, like knock the door to go in the room to talk to her because she knows how evil she is and how corrupt and like how abusive of her power uh, yeah. Miss Trunchbull is mm-hmm. because she's she constantly was, like, abusing it. Yeah, and she was like, like poor thing. She was like calling herself pathetic and Mm -hmm. she was that way because of like her whole past and stuff like that and that was so like I felt so sad for her like she had so much anxiety over just like talking to Miss Trunchbull yeah (laughs) and then after she finally racks up the courage to knock on the door Miss Trunchbull is just like completely everything she says like she's like Uh she's really smart and I think she should go with the 11th grade because we find out in that the scene, I think the scene before or like a scene or two before that Matilda's like crazy smart. Like she knows her, like she could, she like did like, like really big number multiplication. And I think they're in like kindergarten or like first grade uh-huh. or something. And yeah. She's doing, I don't like, even know it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't and she even was know doing that. like, it was like 200 and something times two or like something, not times two, but just yeah. like times stuff. And she just mm-hmm. knew it. And she was like, uh, and then she reads things on the board, like the kids yeah, like literally nothing. have no idea what. And yeah. she just reads it like she's like, I know how to read because that's what it's on the board. And she's like, Matilda, mm-hmm. how'd you learn it? It's like, oh, I've been reading books for years. <laughs> I like I read like the other day. I read like <laughs> the other week. I read like five. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> yeah, like and she was like, um, like she knew everything already mm-hmm. before all the rest of the children do. Like the one of the children was like, just because her it's parents the first- had like word tomato yes <laughs> and then Sonny's like that's a very good it's a word. very good guess she's like she's a very <laughs> very great guess <laughs> yes <laughs> like the student that's what the student did <laughs> I know. that was very funny to me the girl that played that girl she was the girl with like the pigtails yeah so in mm-hmm. the movie this is the same girl with the pigtails she had braided hair if anyone's seen the movie the same girl except in the movie she's very calm and this one she's very like like out and like erratic and like very mm-hmm. crazy and like insane like her pigtails are like the top of her head and they're like very like I know cra- yeah. like feels like she she woke him just did them real quick and she's very crazy and like bouncing off the walls yeah and then like after um miss trunchbull is like no you have to follow the rules that's the yes. only way you like and get she was, by like, in life matilda's the exception like why can't matilda like she's so exactly good. she was like she's so smart 
She's yeah, like, she's like, what do you mean exception? There's yeah. no exceptions in my school. Exactly. Yeah, she was so she was so mean. Also, okay, me but I love mad. with that with Miss Trenchel, they cast a male for uh, for her. It's so funny because they have like so good. not like a fat suit, but I guess like a boob and butt suit. <laughs> I know. It looked very unbodily proport like yeah, I think that was the point. Like she like huge, and I it's just very funny because I think maybe not. Never mind. But like okay, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> never mind. But like yeah, she. Like, I love how, like, they cast a male for every time. It just adds, like, the comedic effect of her. Yeah, it really adds to her character, like, her voice and her Mm -hmm. tone. And especially, like, even her body, like, even her unproportionalness, like, says something. (laughs) Um, And then, like, getting into, like, the whole Miss Trunchbull thing and her weird punishments. They, uh, the The chalky... The, the chalky, the choky, <laughs> the, the choky chant. Yeah, the, that was where she finds out about, like, the, the choky, yeah. which is basically where it's, like, a box sharp of spikes. objects, <laughs> and it's, like, where she throws all the disobedient children. Yeah, like, that's, like, like, abuse. You literally just stand in the box and just spikes all around, and you just stand in there for, like, hours. Mm-hmm, and, like sharp object and they were saying how there's even like nails on the floor so you can't sit down Mm -hmm. like you can stand in it but you can't sit in it because there's nails on the floor too like Mm -hmm. that is literal abuse like i feel so bad for the children absolutely and like she's just saying like hey don't mess up because if you even if you do even if you didn't do the thing but miss trump's full miss trunchbull miss trunchbull (laughs) truly believes that you did it you will be thrown in the chokey Exactly. And she will not and take no for an answer. She will yeah. never take it. Like, she's just like, I didn't do it, though. It's like, yes, you did. You did it. Bye. Yeah. You're in the, you're in the, mm-hmm. you're in the chokey. <laughs> yes. And with that, that reminds me of that one scene where, I forget his name, but the kid that, I think his name might actually be in the song. Where is it uh, Bruce? Yes, Bruce. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, where he ate the cake. And she, it was like her chocolate cake that she was like getting ready to like eat. And he eats the, like, I think he just eats, like, a slice. And yeah. she, like, goes to it, like, and she makes him eat, like, she makes the another one and makes him eat the whole thing. And, like, I love that number song because, like, the kids were, like, even, like, the kids were, like, again, a great choreog- choreographer, that's not a word, a great, <laughs> great choreography with that where the kids are, like, going around the tables and stuff. Mm-hmm. And how, like, uh, like, soon, like, as it continues, as, like, Bruce continues to eat more and more of the cake, they start, like, kind of surrounding him and, like, like, elevating him and like making him feel more like you can do it Bruce and like I know and they were like trying to cheer him on and then the yes. poor thing was like too full and he was gonna get sick yeah. and it was but eventually so... he did eat like the whole thing and it's like that was just one of your punishments I know and then he continues to go to the chokey and then yeah she and then he put uh, he she puts she puts him in the chokey <laughs> I know that is so she's so mean I yeah. can't get over it. And then but, that later, during that one thing where she's trying to prove, like, Miss, Miss Honey isn't a good teacher, which is towards the end when she's, like, a tyrant of the school, mm-hmm. um, where she's trying to, like, say, like, Miss Honey isn't a good teacher, and I'll prove it. And they have them, like, trying to spell out words, and, like, they get every word. She's like, you mm-hmm. cheated. It's like, and Miss Honey is like, no, she just spelled the word. I she taught her how to spell that. It. She just, yeah. I taught, I literally taught her how to spell that word. And then she and then she makes up like the random like word that's like doesn't mean anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then that like, was, the child yeah. is like come like coming up with it. And she's like, oh, and they're silent letters. I know. She's like just warning you, they're silent letters. And yeah. then the child then doesn't get it. Up, and she puts her in the chokey. Cause she couldn't she couldn't spell a made up word. That didn't even make any sense. Like, you couldn't yeah. even, like, sound it out. Like, yeah, you couldn't exactly. even do that. And then I love how, like, after this, the kids, um, they start, like, what they, like, one girl's, like, I don't know. I, I don't know what word she said, but let's just say, like, water bottle. Water bottle. X, B, Y, uh, Z, H. <laughs> That's how you spell it. And, like, all the kids started just saying <laughs> random words, just saying random letters with it. Yeah. So, like, uh-huh. And then they also, like, chanting, like, different words. Um, mm-hmm. And then they're like, and then like, oh, you think you're smart because we can't, oh, I can't put all of you in the chokey. Well, I made one for each and every one of you. I know. And I, I that was, was like, was... what? Like, like she made one for every single kid. Every single kid. I know. That is <laughs> just like ahead of the game at mm-hmm. that point. <laughs> um, And then like, 
before before all that happens, like after she after Bruce eats like has to force feed the whole cake and like shove it all into his mouth, um, it gets like kind of back to like Matilda's family and stuff, and uh, it goes to Telly, which is where Mister Wormwood is just like talking about how he's learned more from TV than from books. Yeah. Which is obviously not true because yeah. like Matilda's like they're like, way they're, smarter. Her family is like super like addicted to like like fashion. Like her mom's like super into fashion, like dancing or whatever mm-hmm. she does. And she's like she's like she, and like that's when her song where she sings or a lot earlier in the musical when Miss she sings Honey's like loud, right? Yeah, she sings loud. Mm-hmm. Where Miss Honey is like, "Hey, your daughter is like crazy smart, like mm-hmm. crazy smart," and she sings loud and she's just like. Like what you chose looks, or you chose books. I chose I looks. I chose looks. Yeah. And look, and look, look at you, and look how I turned out. And yeah, she she's was basically like, just mocking them the mm-hmm. whole time. And she was like loud, just about how like how like look look at me, and like look at the situation I'm in. Look at you. Like I'm in a way better situation than you mm-hmm. are. And and then with the same thing with like kind of telly how she's like, look, I have this TV. Why do I even need books? And yeah, I love the I learned part it all from the telly. Yeah. And I love the part where he gets the sun to sing, but literally all he does is stand there staring at like the TV. I That's know. Literally what he just stands is just staring at the TV because <laughs> he's so and there's literally just a part of the music where you just hear no words and you're just like I know, and he's just like Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Great, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then after that, like, it goes back to, like, where she's, like, at the library telling the story again. And that's pretty important, like, with the whole story and everything mm-hmm. like that. And then after that, it goes to, like, where her dad locks her in her room. I can't remember why. Why did he lock her in her room? The book. It was, was like, like... She was trying to... I think she was trying to tell him about books or something. Yeah, and he and, was, or, like, like... stories, and he was, like, I'm enough with these stories. And so that's when he rips up the book mm-hmm. i think and I'm then sure that's he, when he writes it. and then he forced her into her room and then he shuts her in there and then this is like where it gets kind of sad because she like continues the acrobat story and mm-hmm. then she, in the story she's like the father is like all there and he's like i'm here for you i you are such mm-hmm. a great daughter and i love you i and then he goes to find the aunt and then he never comes back Mm-hmm. Like, it's so sad because she, like... Which her, is Miss like, if Honey's story, where her dad yeah. was mm-hmm. great father and he owned the house, where he, but then he died, which from, mm-hmm. which, we not, which we know later that it was because of Miss Trunchbull, because she wanted the mm-hmm. house, and she made a fake will that said that she would get the house from him rather than Matilda. Yeah, and like Matilda over here like it kind of like it's kind of like a double thing because again it's the acrobat story but like she never really had a father that like was like that yeah so and it's like really sad for her to be like experiencing that especially after um her dad locked her in her room because of Mm -hmm. books yeah (laughs) yeah that was really like that was an emotional moment and then uh after that that's when uh uh, Mrs. Trunchbull is like, you get to all do physical education as discipline. And mm-hmm. then she makes them do all the physical yeah. education. That was such a weird, like, that was kind of weird. But yeah. it was, it was choreography. Cool choreography. Was I loved mm-hmm. how, like, there's the part where they're like, they had, like, the blocks where they're, like, tumbling onto them and, like, jumping over them. And, like, all the kids were, like, struggling to do it. And then Mrs. Trunchbull just literally. Like, there's, like, a trampoline at the end, and she jumps, and she, like, jumps over the whole thing and, like, does, like, a flip, <laughs> which is, like, an actual thing, like, and I was just, like, because the guy that did that had to be in, like, uh, again, the boob and butt suit. <laughs> I know. And he did that. And he had to that. do that, which was, he was probably so sweaty throughout that whole thing. Like, imagine and, that. And, yeah. like, did that and just, like, did the flip and just goes... I know. And, and then he, like, up. out of the bookshelf, he, like, pulls out the thing, like, the little card thing where it's like spells out discipline in mm-hmm. the little things like I thought that was kind of interesting the way the set was like built like that that was yeah, really weird the set was really great I love this I set. know going back to that again like <laughs> that, it was such a good very cool I like the idea nice the set. very like idea of it and I want to mm-hmm. start talking about like Miss Honey's story where she's yeah, in her house that's pretty important that's a very it's a very very sad story like what she went through she um so pretty much she was like in the house, like what we said before, she was, 
she had the house with like her dad and eventually her dad died, which we learned is because of Miss Trunchbull. Yes. And she, and Miss Trunchbull takes the house, but she has to live with her because that's the only relative she has. And we learned that she makes her, she made, she like tallied up every single thing that she has to pay for. So like every can of soup she ate, every like everything she bought for her, she tallied it up and said, and she made her like sign a contract to pay her back everything, everything. And she has like the amount and it's like so much money. And so and she, she can never to, like pay it. She can't pay it off because she's a teacher. Exactly. And plus yeah. that a teacher that doesn't get paid enough. And because her evil aunt is the, it's like the mistress. She probably pays her even less. Yeah, exactly. And like, she has to live in a shed. House yeah. A shed already. that she found from like some guy's barn. And he was like, Hey, can I have a shed? She's like, why do you want the shed? It's like, I, can I have it? She was like, uh, sure. I don't use a shed. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and she lives like poor, and that's when Matilda's like, "Are you poor?" She's "Are like, you poor?" Yeah, and she just, she's just, "Are you poor?" <laughs> I know she, she just, just did it so like out of the blue. Like, and she's like, "Uh, yeah, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> and she's, yeah. and then she tells a story about her dad. She's like, "Wait, that's the story I've been telling to the librarian." And she yeah, realizes that, like, like, she like, "You've been living it." <laughs> and she's just like. I know what happened. She's like, what? And then it's really sad because she sings my home. Where she's in like, like, although I'm in a really bad situation, this is my home. This she's like, this is my home. And this oh God. She's like, this is my home. And she's like saying about like how that's her house. It's not great, but it is it's hers. Yeah, it's like she can be safe from the rain. She can yeah. like have a place a and then, place to live at yeah, least. And Matilda starts being like, I know what happened. Like it was Miss Trunch was like, no, but I don't know if it's Miss Trunchbull. And she just like to like she's like Matilda, you are a strong like independent girl, and I could never be that. Yeah, because she, she like, again starts, is, like pathetic. Yeah, because she's been like told that, and she wasn't. So yeah, and then she like it's the one she's literally like on the floor like in a ball like crying, I and I felt so bad for her. And Matilda's like, I'm gonna make this right, and she just yeah. leaves her while she's like on the floor crying. I know, like and having she just like a mental break, like a <laughs> mental breakdown. Yeah, and then she ends up going to, like, the school, and then she does the whole chalk writing thing, and then Miss uh, Trenchwell believes that it's um, the ghost of Miss Honey's yeah. husband. So, yeah, what happens is the chalk is, like, for people that don't know, it's the chalk, the chalk on the chalkboard, it, like, it mm-hmm. levitates and starts writing, like, this is, whatever the dad's name was, like, this is, you need to leave the house, and, and it was, like, run, run, and then uh-huh. in all caps, run with, like, an exclamation point. And uh-huh. And that's how they got rid of Miss Trunchbull. It's because she thought that, because that's when Matilda like used, she was like, oh, I have powers. And yeah, that's when and she, she uses like, them. I'm going to use them. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's when she uses them. And she used that to levitate the thing to write on the board. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it's revolting children where they're all like celebrating the victory. Which that I this- love that because, because throughout the musical, Miss Trunchbull's like, you guys are revolting, which is, revolting is like, you're, gross disgusting creature that like uh-huh. no one wants and like they're like you know what yeah we are they're like yeah, we we're are revolting, revolting. we're yeah. revolting <laughs> and then they sing like we're, we're revolting children living in revolting times uh sing songs or uh singing revolting rhymes <laughs> or whatever it is yeah like, yeah something like that i i don't know all the words but yeah, exactly. it's a good song mm-hmm. i love the guy's little solo at the the beginning oh my god like, i love <laughs> it's bruce right yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, who ate the chocolate cake earlier that we talked about? Uh, he was like, he's like, he has like solos in that song, and they're so they're great. He's like, he's so talented. Yeah. The kids he's think so he's great, amazing, love him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it's like, okay, this is where I got kind of confused because then after that, it's like, yay, we re- redefeated her, and then Matilda like goes back to her house and like stuff like that, and then like the, the Russians become a part of it all yeah of a sudden. so it turns out that her dad like <laughs> got a bunch of money and mm-hmm. he like he got a bunch of money that like he wasn't supposed to have he like he like uh ripped off the russians they're like we're gonna like kill your dad and she's like well i'm done with revenge actually uh, <laughs> she's like and she's like and so she leaves him alone and then at that before that i wanted to talk about this earlier i mean i just was thinking about it where mm-hmm. like at the very end she's like you know they're talking about like how like what happens and like you know it's like miss honey gets the house matilda still lives with their parents like you know not all stories have a happy ending 
And we think mm-hmm. like that's the end of the musical. Like, great, not because Matilda's still in her exactly, horrible house. Yeah. And we're, like that's uh-huh. the end. But then like right as like they're like wa- like about to walk off, you just hear like you just hear like uh Miss Mrs. Uh, what's her name? Mrs. Wormwood. Like just mm-hmm. say I don't remember I don't remember what she says exactly, but you just hear like yell off stage something and like everyone just like turns around like what? what was that <laughs> and then like her whole family walks on stage and they're talking mm-hmm. about matilda there or, and it's like there you are boy or like whatever he said yeah exactly i'm a girl <laughs> and then he he said but like we have to leave right now and yeah, when, do you remember, remember where they went like that i have literally no idea like okay. i have no idea they were like leaving <laughs> the country and i know they were going someplace and she weird. was like but i don't want to go and then miss mm-hmm. honey's like you know can, how about if i take her yeah, exactly. And, like, and she was like, I would love to have her. Like, I would love to, like, and she was, and the, and the family was like, her? Yeah, like, are you, you want sure? Her? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy said only you can see her car now. Oh, I can't, Jaden. I can't write that. <laughs> Bye. Okay, sorry, that was my sister. <laughs> uh, anyways, but yeah, she was like, so I was like, you want Matilda? Mm-hmm. like, like you are you want sure? Matilda? yeah and you want so this? <laughs> and then she just like yes i will love her i will provide for her i'll give her everything she needs and wants she's mm-hmm. like all right <laughs> okay uh, have her. Sure. we don't want her <laughs> yeah and the dad was kind of like the only one who had a little debate about it like she yeah. he was like are you sure you want this matilda like do you really want this like, and yes. then and then she's like yes and that Absolutely. reminds me earlier <laughs> about how during one of the since like after miss trunfall is like matilda has to stay in the same grade she's just like yeah. uh, all right and then she, what happens is since matilda already knows her she's like okay matilda like after like while they're while her class is doing like busy work she's like okay matilda i have these stacks of books for you that you can read and just because you already know the curriculum you already know what's happening you already know everything that i'm teaching so i'm giving you these books so that you can read and like maybe look at and like maybe some books that you haven't read before maybe that are a little challenging for you and then like after that matilda just like stops and just gives her a big hug because uh-huh. no one has ever appreciated her like that i know no one's her family ever, has like... never done that mm-hmm. like even the librarian like she she appreciated her for that but like the librarian wasn't like a big part of her life, but like Miss yeah. Honey really understood. Really understood like, her. Understood and, like, her. Was, like, really like wanted to help her, and she was like, mm-hmm. "Here are books for you that you can read." And she gives her like, and she was like, "Matilda, you're squeezing me so hot, I can barely breathe." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, so happy for her. I know. Like, I was when so she got too. adopted. Because Matilda, like, like all the time, she was like pretty like didn't have many emotions because like anytime she showed like anything she would just be shot down immediately exactly uh, yeah and so that was the first time she's been like like really showed like a big emotion yeah like, and she kind of just like blew like she kind of just like like well, all her parents like not appreciating her and like being mean to her she kind of just like blew that off she was like that's normal like yeah. she can't she wasn't ever really sad which, like which brings us which kind of like with the thing I think she probably was sad. I think she just she didn't realize it. She probably was, but she didn't really, like, realize She didn't know anything else. Because, she, yeah, she didn't know anything else. She just thought that's just how it's supposed to be. But mm-hmm. Yeah, that brings back to Miracle, which is the first three songs, Miracle 1, 2, and 3, mm-hmm. where, the, like, the first song is, like, the kids talking about how their parents love them and appreciate them, buy them whatever they want. And, like, the one girl that's, like, I'm a ballerina! <laughs> and, like, she, like, know, goes, she, yeah. like, starts, like, she, like, screeches. Screaming, like, at the song. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and like, then Matilda comes out, and she's like, "My mom says I'm a great, I'm great for population control." Like she literally <laughs> just said that. I was like, "Oh my god, that is so like mean." Like, yeah. And then and what else? Like, what else did she say there? She was like, "My father says I'm a bore," and other stuff like that. Yeah. So, and it was just like a. Hater. Exactly. Showing it was a great how, like, comparison. Like a great comparison of like what a lot of kids have and what she mm-hmm. has. And what she has. Instead yeah. of that. Mm-hmm. And so, and I, I think that's, and like the one girl that's like, I'm a ballerina, that one. She was like, mm-hmm. that was later the girl that became her quote, Matilda's best friend. She was like, hi Matilda. And she was like, hi. She was like, what are yeah. you doing? She was like, I'm reading. It's like, well, I chose right now that we're going to be the 
best of friends. You're my best <laughs> friend now. It was like, exactly. Uh, okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she just goes with it. Mm-hmm. Cause she really didn't like have anyone who stuck by her the whole yeah. musicals. And I love, I love that character too, which what's yeah, the, I think, we have it, like, I think it's Lavender. Here. Yeah. Lavender. I think that, I think that's what her name is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lavender where she's just like, she's so like chaotic. <laughs> and like during the one scene, you know, like even though they're literally being disciplined to like do like PE work, she's literally like, mm-hmm. which was like, someone get my water bottle. She's like, oh, I will. I'll get the water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is like so like bright and so and bubbly. Much fun. Like even like yeah, a horrible very situation. I know. Which like also she was like, the best of it. Like the I don't remember what it's called. The one song where like they're going the the first time they go into school, they're like. My mother says I'm. Oh, happy. that's school like, song. That school song. Yeah. What is and, like, it? Yeah. And, like all of like the like previous children were like mm-hmm. on like this is the one we were talking about earlier where they're climbing on like the climbing gate on and, the like, blocks, with the steps yeah. and the blocks and stuff, which is very amazingly choreographed. Again. Uh huh. But like how they were like they were literally being like this school sucks and like all those things he said Miss Trunch was gonna tear you down and stuff and like mm-hmm. you are not a ballerina you are not special you are not the princess you are not the prince. And, like, just, like, tearing them, being, like, this is, like, which is a great, I think, a great example of, like, what the school is like. Yeah, and, like, just what, like, school in general is like. Yes. Like, <laughs> that's, like, the whole tragedy of, like, school does do that to you. Like, it's kind of discouraging, like, especially with grades and stuff like that. <laughs> is that your sister? Came, no, my oh, mom I this thought, time. I thought, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, that's like that was a uh, good representation of that too. I was thinking about that earlier. Yeah, um, it was just like just showing how like how bad that school, the, especially is. that one. Yeah, and yeah. Miss Trunchbull too. Mm-hmm. Like it was letting us know. Um, and another great like representation of uh, the set. We didn't actually talk about this song yet, but um, when I grow up, it's really oh, good too yes. with the swings. The that swings. is so much yeah, they fun. Like, even, again, with kids being great in this, with the choreography, mm-hmm. there would be kids, like, literally on the swings, like, going up, and then, like, they literally had to, while the swing was, like, still moving, they had to get off, go under it, and, like, spin underneath the swing, and I was like, these are children. These I know. Great children. Amazing children. <laughs> I know. And they had to, like, sometimes when it was moving, too, they had to, like, get up and stand Like, stand, they had to stand on the swing. Uh-huh. Yeah, I I could never like that would be that yes. would be kind of scary. Yeah, like especially because the swings were so huge and it was just like over an audience. Also, because a lot of swings like at like a playground, it's just like like pretty high up, but it's like just a bar that mm-hmm. it came down from the ceiling and you know ceiling ceilings on Broadway like the stages are high like mm-hmm. very 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 high. Uh huh. And they had, and so the so like the support of it was like all the way up here, and like they were swinging down here. So like they had to like that's like a lot of like swinging area to like mess up in. Exactly. Just, like knock yeah. into each other. Because mm-hmm. yeah, they're not very far distanced either. Yeah. They could just like, mm-hmm. knock into each other. And like how they literally like go on the swing, they like jump off and go on their stomach and like push off and like go back. I know. They just like do that like mm-hmm. so well choreographed. It's they were very so well good at that. Especially, I wonder how, especially children, like how they choreograph children. I know. Because children that. are kind of hard to work with sometimes. <laughs> children are very like, hard to work with. They're kind of like impatient and they don't mm-hmm. want to do it. So they must have been very good children. Like very, very nice. I mean, they're probably kids that have been in, on stage before. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I was thinking today when I was, like, doing my research and stuff, I was wondering, like, it would be so cool to, like, start off as, like, a star child yes. on Broadway. Uh-huh. You would be able to make a career so easily. Because if you yes. started as a kid, you could just keep going. You have, you're just like, I was on Matilda, the musical on Broadway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could like keep going with that when you're older mm-hmm. and that would be that would be cool i've always wanted to do that when i was younger i wanted to be like a star child yeah. on broadway <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like uh the broadway sounds like fun <laughs> i know it my would be brother so cool was actually he was getting my mom's new car uh because mm-hmm. my mom just got a new car and so oh. she uh and he was going he was just going around to pick it up and mm-hmm. somebody was like I'm going to go to New York. <laughs> really? And he, he just went to New York. Wow. And I was so jealous because uh, he's had a lot of like his Snapchat story. And he like showed yeah. around. And I was like, you should sneak into the Hamilton Theater for me. 
He didn't, oh. uh, surprisingly. I don't know why. I don't know why he didn't oh. sneak into the theater why for me. Why didn't he do that? that I don't know. So, that would have been so easy. But yeah. Like, he I was very just jealous. done it. I was very jealous. I was very, yeah. I, I really wanted to. I want to live this, in New York. So do I. When I get older. That would be <laughs> so cool. That would be so cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the so, children are incredible, amazing, beautiful. I know. They are so good. So, like, we didn't actually talk about this yet, but, like, what's your favorite song? Yeah. Favorite song? Who? Okay. <laughs> Why'd I go who? I like... Who? <laughs> <laughs> I like Naughty. Me too. That's probably one of my favorites. A little bit Naughty. <laughs> also, like, Loud. Because it shows oh, yeah. how different uh miss wormwood and miss honey are like mm-hmm. how like how crazily different they are and i don't remember the song name but the p is the smell of rebellion that's what it's called the smell of rebellion oh the with P-E- the p-e-one P- e- one. i really like that one and also there's a lot but bruce with oh yeah i really <laughs> like that one yeah i don't know for me i would probably say naughty definitely that mm-hmm. one um I liked, uh, what is it? I liked the, the one. The, the I one. liked, <laughs> I liked Quiet because it was like a cool little thing with Matilda. Like, it was just like her. Like, yes. and it, she was very talented when she did that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also liked When I Grew, When I Grow Up because that's a song like I've known from like performing and stuff like that. Oh yeah, like, no, it's a song yeah. that I feel like a lot of, mm-hmm. especially people that have done theater, I've definitely heard mm-hmm. at least a few yeah. times. Like I performed it one time, and I've always loved that song. Mm-hmm. Like I always, I always loved it, and I just, I when I got to see it on Broadway too, that was that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. Very, um, what very, else? Very cool. Oh yeah, favorite character. Oh, um, uh, I'd have to say the librarian. Oh, Mrs. Yeah. Wormwood, Miss Trunchbull, and Lavender. Yeah, I for <laughs> me, let's see. So, mm, I don't know. I really liked which Ms. we Honey. didn't really talk about this with the real librarian. The librarian is so funny. Yeah, and she's I so love like. Her. I love it. Her reactions to Matilda's to things, stories. Yeah. <laughs> I love how in the very first story, she get the she gets the block so they can sit down. She gets a big block for her and a small <laughs> block for Matilda. And so she places the block down, the big block. She goes over to place a little one. And so then she turns around and she's like, and Matilda's just standing on the block. She's standing like, oh. on it. <laughs> All and right. she just, and she just goes sits, sits on the small one. And then from every <laughs> other storytelling thing, she sits on the small one every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she, like, I also like her because, like, she has, like, a cool style. Like, her character yeah. style is pretty cool, too. Mm-hmm. Um, For me, I don't know. It sounds, let me see. I really like the Wormwoods because they're just so funny. Like, yeah. they're just so, like, funny, even though I they're absolutely horrible. Mrs. Wormwoods. Yeah, they're horrible people. Uh, <laughs> how, like, her accent that she puts and how, like, emphasis on words she has. I so, know. Really, like... She's uh, Leslie Margarita, which I think she was actually in the one that I we watched. I think yeah, she was, she was in like all of them. Yeah, like, she I think was she just in, like, never left. Cast. Yeah, <laughs> she just was that role for like yeah. the rest. And of- she was absolutely. I see. I very much see why they cast her. She's absolutely incredible in that role. So good. She's like fit She's perfectly so for that. Mm-hmm. She is so good. Um, probably them. I really like Miss Honey too. Cause she's just like I like her story, and she's just like really sweet. And she's then so sweet. probably yeah, I just like I probably them, and then Matilda of course, cause she's just yeah. so cute. I also love Lavender with her, just like how crazy <laughs> she is. How she's also a comedic relief. I know. Uh, in with it too, her little craziness. Yeah, yeah, that would be a cool little like side role to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of that topic, uh, one of the questions, one of our guiding questions was. Um, if you were to be cast in the musical, like, who would you be? Like, who would you want to be? I don't know. Mm. It could be either be pa- based off of, like, your personality, Bruce. or it could be, like, who would you want to play? Bruce. Yeah, Wait, too I, old I, to I play him? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but is it fun? Is it funny? Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I love his I little know. solo at the end. Like, I'm thinking if I would be i would probably based on personality i would probably be mrs honey 
Yeah. Maybe. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, I that reminds me of when thinking. you played Alice in the Adams Family before Alice mm-hmm. became crazy. <laughs> yeah, before before she became crazy. Before Alice, which we were both in, by the way, I was Pugsley, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was Alice. Alice. Um, and then I don't know, wanting to play, definitely Matilda, because you know how I have like a fetish for playing little British girls. <laughs> 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 like I was like, I was you Jemima, play- and Jemima and Chin Chitty Bang Bang. You were my child in Chin Chitty Bang Bang. Mm-hmm. And then I was Jane, too. And, and if I could just Mary be Poppins. Matilda, it would be complete. Great. A good trio <laughs> of British children. I know. I would I would love. I think I'm too old now, but yes. if I... I would love I to also play. play Miss Trunchbull. Oh, that would be so good. So I would love fun. to see you that do that. That would be so much fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I would probably say based on my personality, Miss Honey, and then if I could, Matilda, because I love playing little British girls. (laughs) Little British girls. (laughs) They're so much fun. They have, like, the little (laughs) accent and then, like, the cute little innocence and personality is so cute. So, yeah. And then, is there any that we missed? Um, Uh Um, oh, wait. Who does this musical remind you of? Remind me of? I I feel like, I don't know. Who does it remind me of? I feel like it kind of reminds me of my sister because she's like, (laughs) she's a big Matilda fan. And she. Oh, she is? Yeah, she loves it. Like when she found out we were doing it, she was like. (laughs) Like she was like. She said the musical was like too different for her liking, oh. but she's a big I fan. I love of the, the differences movie. in the musical, honestly. Like I, mm-hmm. I've seen the movie. I this is a movie I watched like growing up, uh, <laughs> and I, I love both of them for two different reasons. Too, I think they're both incredible things. Like the movie's an incredible film, the musical was an incredible musical. Uh, I absolutely mm-hmm. love. Um, yeah, it's very good. But yeah, it's like it's like a nice little like musical it's 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 pretty good like i knew it was pretty common but i never yes. thought that it would be like this yeah. personally like Very, i was not expecting i really anything. i was really enjoyed it um, mm-hmm. yeah um i don't think we missed any guiding questions but you guys should type them in the comments yes if, if you, you ever ideas. if you have any more questions for us that like that can help us like tell more about the musical to like get you a better understanding of it uh, mm-hmm. you can type them in the comments you can dm us on instagram or youtube comments uh dm us on instagram which is at musical chairs podcast mm-hmm. um so yeah yeah always let us know if you have more um questions and it's unfortunately we don't announce the musical the day we record the podcast or like before we record, we record the, the podcast. podcast by the way we record our podcast like almost a week before because we released on uh-huh. friday we record on monday so yeah. like <laughs> so it's, like there's a yeah. lot of different things mm-hmm. like we have a whole schedule <laughs> yeah a whole a whole schedule for the week yeah a lot of the times and also um a happy thanksgiving for people that celebrate yes happy thanksgiving happy holidays um go watch and listen to matilda if you haven't already yes so yeah um i'm chloe i'm joshua And thanks for listening to our podcast. Goodbye. Bye. (laughs)